Hi, my name is Jamie Fisher. I'm the producer on Surf World Series, and I'm going to run you through a build of the game we put together for a GDC demo. Before we get started, I just want to talk about our customized system. We've got six characters to choose from, three male, three female, and you can change between them whenever you want. Alongside that, you can customize your outfit and board by layering up different masks, patterns, and designs to create your own look. On to the events. These are the main single player component in the game. We've got 45 of them split across five different leagues, with those leagues representing different bands of difficulty. So this is our first event, which takes place on our Portuguese beach. We've got five different beaches in the game, with each having four variants based on time, day or weather. We've got various game modes that we mix between across the events. The mode for this event is Big Heat Battle, in which players have a set time to ride as many waves as they can, with their highest scoring waves being averaged to determine their final score. Our trick system is divided into four categories. Basic airs, tubing and floaters. You'll get less points for repeating tricks, so it's important to mix these up. The final part of the system is our special tricks, represented by the bar at the bottom of the screen. The bar fills as you perform basic tricks, then, in a similar way to fighting games, you can cash in different amounts of the meter to pull off different moves, with better moves costing more meter. The other thing to mention about events is that each has three challenges, which you can see here with the orange ticks. So, like I said, we've got a variety of conditions for players to surf in. This event takes place during a storm off the coast of Hawaii. We've got thunderstorms, sunsets, bright midday sun, and nighttime surfing. So there's a good variety of aesthetics in the game. This event uses one of our other modes, Championship. This mode is round-based, with players having to beat a score requirement in each round to progress. If you fail a round, you'll have to start again. As I've been paddling out, you might have noticed these white icons on the waves. These denote the difficulty of the wave. And the other element that I've not mentioned is the orange bar that comes up when players are locked in a trick. As that bar ticks down, the points the trick is worth decreases. So you're going to want to lock in that trick at the last possible moment to get the most points. Along with the events, there's also multiplayer for up to 16 players, a free surf mode in which you can enjoy surfing without any timer or competition, and a surf school to get you started. The game is coming to Xbox One, PS4 and Steam later this year. Thanks for watching.